Hi everyone, this is Vivek from Tech101. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can share your website running in localhost by public web address. So without any delay, let's start our video. Before starting our video, be sure to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to receive notification of our upcoming videos. So for this, we are going to use ngrock. So go to Google and search for ngrock and uh, you can see ngrock website at the top and here you can see ngrock online in online and yeah you can literally take your website online with a single line of command now uh, sign up for ngrock okay simply you can click on sign up for free and you can sign up using your google account or github account and hit takes me to dashboard as I have already uh, signed up for it now we have to download ngrock so as I am in windows platform so I have to download this for window so uh, you can download for your operating system so let me download this for windows and now download is started and it will be completed within few seconds so first step to start using ngrock is uh, install this and we have to connect to our account and fire it with uh, this command ngrock http and port number so let me open and it's a zip file and we have to extract it so click on extract to and okay now it is extracted and here we have ngrock.exe file so uh, as you can see here here is a downloaded file and if i open this now i can run ngrock command in this terminal but um, i can't access ngrock commands by global command prompt like if I enter ngrock over here and it is saying that ngrock is not recognized as an internal or external command so you have to add ngrock to system environment variables so let's add this quickly so for this let me cut this exe file and paste it in c drive okay so I will make a new folder here named ngrock ngrock okay and inside this folder i'm going to paste it now open system environment variables okay read the system environment variables and click on environment variables now select path now click on edit and here click on new and paste the path that we have copied okay we haven't copied it so let's copy this path okay c slash and zero Okay, and let's paste it over here and now click on ok ok now it must work so let me open command prompt again and now ngrog is working and here we have guide like secure public url for port 80 web server now we have to use ngrock http 80 uh, command okay so uh, now let's add our uh, okay we have to connect our account with uh, this api token okay or token so let me copy this and paste it in the terminal okay let me copy once again And it is here now hit enter and you can see the message or token saved to configuration file 
on this directory slash ng0.aml and now we are ready to use ng uh, let me open one of my web project and here is my website so let me open this with type server and it is running on port 500 and we need this port number so now let's go back to ps code terminal and here you have to enter the command ngrock http and your port number that is 5500 in my case and here you can see uh, details about your account online version region uh, but you can uh, see any web address here so if you can uh, see your web address here you can run the similar command from the global command prompt okay so i have filled the terminal and open cmd and here you can simply type ngrock http 5500 and here you can see uh, uh, this web address https and this long address and you can simply uh, copy this and share it with others to test your website that is currently running in your local host so let me show you so it is my website running in localhost as you can see the address here uh, 127.0.0.1 index.html and let me paste the url that i have copied previously and okay uh, this is a warning from google chrome and you can simply continue to this website by clicking on this visit this on safe site and here you can see uh, the same website that we can see in localhost so anyone in the internet uh, can see and test your website so guys how's this video if you like this video give us a thumbs up and if you have any problems while following the steps shown here Please don't hesitate to comment below. Thank you for watching.